everyone and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In today's video, I want to talk about how to manage and use the free and automatic SSL certificate that comes along with all of our hosting packages here at Name Hero. This, this feature has came a long way. Now, Name Hero is one of the first web hosts in the industry back in 2016 to begin offering free and automatic SSL web for all websites. You know, a lot of hosts in our industry charge for them back at that time, but we integrated with Let's Encrypt and we've offered them for free ever since. So in this video, I just want to show you really quick on how you can manage this. So if you're following along, you know, you um, feel free to pause this video for a second and get logged into your account. If you're not yet a customer with us here at Name Hero, you know, we certainly would love to have you here. Um, so feel free to watch and kind of get a feel for our platform and how things work. But I'm gonna go ahead and log in. So I'm gonna click the account link here at the top right and I'm going to enter my demo username, get my password here, log in, and two-factor. I hope you have two-factor enabled. If you don't, please pause this video and enable it because it's very important. Keep your account secure and safe and make sure only you can get into it. All right, so now I'm in my Name Hero dashboard, and you'll notice I've got um, five different services and 13 domains. This is my demo account, so I've got a good bit of stuff inside of here. Um, but what I want to do is I want to navigate to the account that I'm going to test on. So I'm going to click on My Cloud, and today we're going to be using KeyDiets.com. It's a demo account that I have set up, and it's a business cloud package. But again, this free and automatic SSL, it comes with all of our accounts here at Name Hero. So even if you have a starter package, a plus or turbo, you're going to have the same feature as well. So I'm just going to click here. Okay, so here's an overview of my account. And to manage this SSL certificate, I want to go into cPanel. So I can click log into cPanel here, or I can click log into cPanel here, two different options to do it. Okay, so now we are here, and you can see I've got on the right, it says self-signed self certificate. So our automatic SSL certificates, they are automatic, and it takes about 12 hours to 24 hours when you first set up your account with us for that to automatically generate. So as soon as you purchase your hosting package and make sure that your name servers are set correctly, then this SSL certificate will automatically generate. Now I wanted to film this video right now because I just manually changed my um, name servers before I, I started this video. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how to manually generate this. You know, if you don't wanna wait for the auto SSL to run, you can manually force run it. You know, so you can you know, put yourself ahead of the queue. Now it is important that your name service is propagated. So let me explain that for a second. I'm gonna go back to my client area and you'll notice for my hosting package, my name servers are ns302.namehero.net and ns303.namehero.net. Depending on your package, depending on um, you know, which one you're, you've ordered, you might have different name servers, or most likely if you're watching this video, you probably do have different name servers. So it's really important to use the name servers with your package. So again, you wanna make sure these are gonna be unique to your package you're using. Now, my domain's registered at Name Hero. If your domain's at GoDaddy or another provider, you have to go into their interface to change your name servers. So I'll just show you in Name Hero what it looks like. And if, if you bought your domain with us, if you bought your domain with your hosting package, these are already set for you. But if you um, bought your domain after your hosting package or if you have an existing domain, then you'll need to make sure these are changed. I just click on name servers here and you can see I'm using custom name servers and these are the ones that match my hosting package. That's very important because things won't sync up. Your domain won't sync up with your hosting package if your name servers are not set and if they're not set correctly. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, if these name servers, it takes about um, just a few hours, sometimes a few minutes, you know, really for it to connect. But for everything to sync together, 12 to 24 hours is generally what we ask customers, especially, you know, for the auto SSL. Um, but you can check this. We have a free tool called DNSHero.com, and you can type in your domain. So mine's keydiets.com, and this will help you confirm, you know, what the Internet's seeing. So you can see here, here are those name servers, and it shows correctly. Now you can ignore this, there is certainly glue with these name servers, I'm not sure why it's saying that, but um, you can see everything looks good. Basically if you see red in this report, that's when you need to um, 
you know, most likely reach out to support or maybe give your um, name server some time to finish propagating if you see red. Um, you can also use ntdns.com. It's a similar tool, but you know, using two, two tools is um, completely appropriate. But you can see there's no red. And you can ignore these yellow too. Again, there is definitely, um, well, it's not glue here, but this says uh, your name servers are not in different subnets. That is fine. We still have them highly available at our data center in Kansas City. Okay, so my name servers are set correctly, so we are good on that. Let's go back to cPanel. All right, so now we can click on our domain, and you'll see connection's not private. This means it's a self-signed certificate. The auto one that's free has not yet generated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I'm going to type in SSL, and you'll see SSL, TSL, TLS status. I'll click it, and you'll see here I've got this red lock by my domain. So this means that it's self-signed, meaning the server generated the certificate. Um, the auto SSL has not yet run. So all I have to do is click this checkbox here, and it's going to select all of these, and click Run Auto SSL. Okay, so this might take just a few minutes. You know, sometimes it might take five minutes or so to run, but basically, in the background, it's going to actually connect your domain. It says, all right, is the name servers correct? If they are, it will proceed. And then it has to actually validate, you know, is this domain in the correct hosting account? So cPanel automatically will add some DNS records. They'll also test some um, files to make sure that, you know, you are indeed the legitimate owner. And it requests this from Let's Encrypt. Once it gets the approval, the certificate's automatically generated and installed in your cPanel. There's nothing else that you have to do. Now, again, in a couple hours, 12 to 24 hours from now, this will already be green. The only reason why this is red is because before this video, I changed my name servers manually because I wanted to demonstrate this for this video tutorial. So if you're watching and you say, you know, this looks a little complicated, I don't want to do it because it's free and automatic, well, you don't have to. Again, it will automatically run, but if you're like me and get impatient or in a hurry, you can force run this. So you can see now it's completed. It's going to refresh the page in five seconds. And we've got the green lock. So you can see our SSL certificate has now generated, um, and we're all set. If we go back to cPanel, you can see we have a domain validated certificate. If we go to QDiets, it might take a second for your browser to actually refresh it. Some browsers are faster than others. I know on this one I need to actually update Chrome. But boom, you can see I'm actually all set. It's installed, and I've got um, you know, my default um, page here because I don't have any files uploaded. I'm going to show in another video tutorial how to begin uploading your files or installing WordPress. Um, but I really want to demonstrate how auto SSL works. And if you don't want to wait for the auto part of it, you can force generate that. The only big piece is, once again, you have to make sure your DNS is set and you have to make sure it's set properly. Uh, if you registered your domain new with us at Name Hero, those are automatically set. Um, and of course, you can use our free dnshero.com tool. Um, and there is also into dns.com, which is another good tool just to make sure that your you know, name servers are showing up across the internet uh, properly. And of course, these match the name servers in our user interface for your specific package. So I, help, I really hope that helps you understand free and automatic SSL, how it works. And again, it would automatically generate. If um, you know, I, I didn't go in and force run it, it would just automatically have done it. If you're in a hurry, that's exactly how you do it. Uh, but now we're all set. And this will automatically renew. So I don't have to worry about you know, renewing my SSL certificate um, as long as I don't make any changes you know, to my name servers or DNS or you know, do anything funny. It'll automatically renew each time it's up. And you know, you'll have the free and automatic SSL as long as you're a hosting customer with us at namehero.com. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions or you know, have any concerns or comments, you know, feel free to comment on them below here on YouTube, and I'd be more than happy to you know, address those or put you in touch with our support team to you know, help them, or they will help you troubleshoot further if you have any issues. But thanks so much for watching and using us here at namehero.com.